This is for TB patients. We already got the medicine for them. This is in the Malak camp. The Malak camp, uh, we have TB patient for U.S. departure for 16 people. And right now we got some of them who is negative, uh, negative uh, TB come to take medicine to talk to me every day. In behind us, we have the uh, TB village uh, up the mountainside uh, in uh, in Myla. So, what happens here? What's your work? Okay, I'm a de I'm the dot nurse. Uh, I'm a four LM. I have to come here every day for the dot. Uh, this means the TB treatment. So we have like twelve people in here for the LM responsibility, including the um, Australia cases. There is two. Uh, there is three MDR, uh, including the AMI cases. But we actually we just take care for the um, TB patients that screen from LM that they are gonna depart to USA. Okay. So. How many people are sick with TB up here? Uh, and in my responsibility is forty. And why are they kept apart from other people? Because there is a positive area, okay. Because um, down there we just um, come from the negative area, okay. so we just keep him for during the contagious uh, time, like two months, and then we will decide later. Depends on the sputum culture result and the X-ray. This very sweaty little room at the top of the hill at the Myla camp at the TB village, the so-called positive zone, is where the IOM nurses give out drugs for multi-drug resistant TB on a daily basis. There are several patients here who come at the appointed time every day to take a, to be observed taking a handful of life-saving drugs which will clear up their multi-drug resistant TB and enable them to carry on the resettlement process to go and live in the countries of their choosing.